Ooh, little doggy over here. He's about to be the favorite person on this entire season, okay? He is, as Rachel would say, snarky. And yeah, he's got quite the personality. So in any case, they're sitting together and the grandma's like, yo, y'all should spend some time together. Okay, dog, get to know your son again. And the son is like, get to know me again. He's never known me, period. And then <laughs> he goes on to call him a filthy womanizer. He's talking to his dad, you know. It's about to be a matting. It's time for love after lock up, baby. Woo wee, Rachel and Doug. Here we go. Doug's mom got pregnant when we were 15 years old. Yeah? You guys, you guys, you guys. Little dog is a blessing. Nobody's going to dispute or deny that. But the situation, the, 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 the circumstances around little doggy being born whilst his mom was like 15 is horrendous. Talk to your children and those that you're a guardian to or whatever about the Zwex. You have got to, got to, got to. And these days at a younger and younger age, because these kids are doing things at a younger and younger age. These 15 year olds be looking 35 out here. And it's because of what they're seeing on social media. So yeah, check that, check that for real. And he was about a year, year and a half old when I got locked up. That's terrible. Ooh, I see them drones are putting in work again. So what's up, son? This definitely takes the cake for one of the best days in my life. Me and my dad are actually a family now. Oh, this is the woman that made the woman that I love. This is the woman that made the woman that I love. Now watch all the sleazy, slimy, slick talk that he's gonna be doing. Thank you for You're giving her. He is tall. Back in 85, you didn't think you were gonna give her to me. <laughs> You see that slickness? Oh, thank you. Back in 85, you didn't think you were going to give her to me. She sure didn't. Came and got me, and we uh, went to the hotel room. What did you do when you got out? We went to the hotel room and... Tried to give you a grandbaby. And then there was an awkward silence. In front of your son, all this stuff is not necessary, okay? She came, she got me, you know, we had some food, this and that. We just chilled, talked, you know, had a good time, right? She can obviously maybe tell that maybe y'all did a tan 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 whatever. You just don't have to say it, you know? You, you just don't have to say it. Him and Dante, that TMI, no, drop it. The mom in laws, they don't need to know all anything to do with that. They don't need to know. Here I'm gonna have to find my own way. Welding, trash. So that's what he says he's gonna do to support. Welding, trash, picking up the trash, isn't that they all say this and they talk a good game, but it is so hard to do that in reality. Yeah. Because he's living in a comfortable house. She's going to go home and bring the bacon or the bologna, whatever you want to call it. And he's going to be at home thinking, nah, I need to, I need to enjoy. I actually need to enjoy this, this, this freedom. And, you know, give me a time to readjust. One month will pass. Give me a little time. I'm still readjusting. Two months will go past. Like, how long is that period? Nobody's helping them through it. The prison just kicks you out and then that's it. How do these people reintegrate into society? I do not <laughs> of his parole to get employment family yes it's part of his parole because remember christiana from last season she had to go and you better not be going to a restaurant talking about some oh i'm here to you know find some job application or filling some job applications and then oh whilst well, i'm here let me have a bite to eat because the parole officers they're like they're all behind you around you you can't see them but they are there they will catch you and be like yo you're conflicting two different two different priorities and wants right here. You cannot be looking for a job and eat at the same time. That's not how it's done, okay? So he better be careful because he seems like the person who doesn't want to follow the law, doesn't want to follow what's being asked of him, and he will be out here doing what he wants to do instead of looking for this job. Cristiano was actually trying. This guy's not going to try. That's just a prediction. What I think might happen. And get to know your son again, and again, he never has known me truly. Ooh, look who's got the smart comments. Yes, because he's a smart boy. And I don't know how he got that way without you, but he sure did. I don't know about those old girls you be talking to on TikTok. One. Deflection. He just said that get to know me again. He's never really known me truly. That's something you need to address. What this guy needs to do is whatever he says, because Dougie, little Dougie is full of like, it's like a venom. He's full of anger, so much anger. You can imagine 12 years, no dad. And it's, it's his own fault. Like he made himself go to prison. 
So he's angry. In school, at those ages, fair enough, if you're in uni or whatever, at these ages, that's when people are talking about what they did with their dad and their dad did this and their dad bought this and their dad taught them that and you were never there. Even on the phone, you can barely do that. Even during visitations, you can barely do that. I don't even know if they let little kids come into the prisons like that, like that, to visit. I don't know how that works. But in any case, what he needs to do is when little doggy comes out with his stuff, right, his harsh words, you need to, okay, take a breather. What did my son just say to me? Ooh, okay, that's new. Um, Address it apologize and then reassure these are the three things address it apologize reassure when once you reassure make sure that you back that up with actions to make sure that it's solid it's a sealed deal right because little doggy over here can see if you're talking any nonsense okay he can tell he's a very smart kid this is what you need to do but what this guy did was deflect he's never really known me truly and then instead of being like oh yeah i know I'm going to be there. I was this, this, that in the past. I've been in prison long enough. That I've learned my lesson. I'm going to do this and that and that to ensure that we are a good, happy family. This and that. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever the stuff that you'd say, right? He's like, oh, I know about those girls you be talking about on TikTok. Also, TikTok? He's 12 years old and he's on TikTok. <sighs> okay. A little bit concerning because there's a lot of weird stuff on there. But okay. Girlfriend? One girlfriend, my ass. I'm not like you. I only have one girlfriend. I don't, yeah. What do you mean one guy? Well, not Besides, like me. Like and I everybody's like, wait, 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 how many girlfriends has he got? How many girlfriends has he got currently? What do you know that we don't know, little doggy? Spill the tea. Ten girlfriends in the past, like, three years. Rachel. And here's the thing, right, about that. Three girlfriends in the in the last, um, hmm? ten girlfriends in the last three years. The problem with this is that I'm thinking Doggy's also really upset about that because who knows if he hasn't been shipping little doggy to this woman and to that woman and to that woman and to that woman, right? Oh, this is my little girlfriend. Go and stay with her. This is my other girlfriend. Go and stay with her. This is my fiance this time. Go and stay with her. In fact, this is my wife. Go and stay with her. Or at least go and meet her. Okay? That could have been a thing. I don't know if that was that's what happened, but every time little Dougie had to hear about another woman who was maybe gonna be a stepmom. That's how he knows about this. How else does he know about this? Seems very happy. But my gut made me sick from the minute I met him. Really my gut made me sick from the minute I met him. Those mommies have a sixth sense, you know. You better listen to your mama. She feels something weird about this guy. We should be a little more humble. A little more humble. There's no one. And that house is stunning. Are those two separate houses? I guess so. But anyway, it's so beautiful. My goodness. And he's never going to get it as good as he's getting it now, right? Never. Hmm, he might. But, you know, especially after the show, girls might be like, no, 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 no. But... You know, he's, he's, ne realistically, he's gotten it so much better than a lot of his inmates. See, when he was all up on her, out of the prison and kissing her and whoop, and uh, lift your dress up and all this stuff that he was doing when they first met. And all the prison people were standing there, just looking. Must be nice. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are not going to get it like this. You literally got swooped out of prison, which a lot of people don't get to. They, I don't know. Some people, I'm sure they just walk for miles to they just get somewhere. I don't know. Because not everybody will have people supporting them. Some people, their families are sick and tired of them. Their friends are sick and tired of them. They're like, yeah, you figure this thing out. So she scooped him up, brought him to this beautiful house. If you mess this up. Wow. And these people are actually married as well. You know how I like that? Or do you need a call? Him with the baloney. Him with the baloney. Him and um, Courtney and Josh, Josh them with the big uh, deal pick, big deal big deal and these people with the bologna they should make a big deal bologna sandwich and have a, a double date or something these people and their food wow it's a lot you know how i like that or do you need to call my mother i don't care how you like it it's how i make it what Boy, yeah. you i grew up on bologna bologna's uh easy simple i'm a simple guy anyways but that's not i i love her energy like at first i thought she'd be a pushover she's not do it prison you don't get bologna you get a bologna like log but it's never the same yeah, look how she's looking at him. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's nowhere near enough. See, in prison, the microwaves are different. To be honest, I'm more of a spam girl. I love... Mm -mm. That stuff is a heart attack in a tin. Please, lay off the spam. Um, All these mukbangers be eating spam like... Like crazy. It's not good. Get your vitals checked. I don't know. I don't know how your heart's still doing what it do. It's just all in the nature of the bologna. I like a slice of bologna. That would be kind of fire, though. I'm not even going to lie. How many times did you... 
I like simple stuff. Good stuff too. But you know, if you're on one of those simple days, I love me some mayonnaise. Yeah, that mayonnaise bread, you're good to go. So, oh, now we need to we need to catch that because this this doggy is like whoa. That's a lot. It's just all in the nature of the bologna. I like a slice of bologna. How many times did you drop the soap? Just on my birthday. <laughs> okay. Good comeback. Hey, what, you get food like this? Now, look at how he's holding his fork. I wish I had a fork and knife here. But yeah, I only know people who have like arthritis that would hold the fork like this. Like, you know, you have the fork and hold it like that, right? Instead of like, take the right but he's holding it like this and he's been in prison since he was young so even his table manners how he dresses how he well not really dresses or well, maybe i don't know no no how he dresses like kind of how, his mannerisms okay how he walks everything he's gonna have it from prison he's gonna have learned it from prison okay and yeah it's interesting how he holds that i looked at that and i said hmm i don't know maybe people do hold their forks like that i've not seen many people do that but yeah, it's interesting how he's like He does say thank you to the woman though, which I guess the prison guards, if you don't say thank you, you're, you're, huh. so they little being a little bit more humbler. At least he, he's, he's, he's gracious enough to say thank you to the waitress. Woman. Uh, option to go back in time and change the choices you made, but you, at least you're here now, so you're late to never. <laughs> he, he wouldn't have gone into prison, yada, yada, yada. Then the little son says, at least you're here now, better late than never. How late am I? How late am I? 12, 365. Sounds about right. What do you think about pulling up on grandpa tomorrow and surprising everybody? Is that a good idea? I want to go to grandma and surprise everybody. Good idea? Yeah. Why can't we go tonight? Got an ankle bracelet. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the ankle bracelet. Now, see that wink over there? Why keep winking at me, weirdo? Yeah, this is going to be a rodeo of conversations with a lot of insults and yeah just a lot of insults and just jags and yeah it's a lot it's a lot of with a little respect are you gonna talk to me with a little respect huh? no no so you put your head up my man so he's like really like put your head up do this uh, you know he's trying to parent and actually trying to catch up on 12 years of parenting that he wasn't able to do but i think this is kind of the wrong way of going about it because he's also got his own mannerisms now and just like you hold your fork like this, and probably nobody's going to be able to tell you to hold your fork like this or like this. Um, in the same way, little Doug over here, when he gets exasperated, likes to put his head on his arms or on the table, even in a restaurant. And yeah, you know, um, it is what it is. That That's his way of dealing with his frustration. And he's only 12, so 12 year olds do these type of things. But as like, uh-uh, head up. Mm -hmm little rules to just figuring out how things are going to be with done it's all going to come out cut my pork chops slave hmm? did he just say cut my pork chops slave is that is that is that what he said comment down below if that's what he said i know i did not hear him say that let's let's go back because there's being angry and then it's being disrespectful and here it's merging into one because little doggy over here really doesn't know what to do with his emotions he needs therapy too to be honest Huh? No. No. How do you figure that out? Micromanaging little rules to just figuring out how things are going to be done. It's all going to come out. Cut my pork chops, slave. Mm, you want he really says slave. This is not. It's not right. But it's okay. He gonna make it anyway. This is. It's not right, but we can get we can get why. Like it's not okay too, but uh. You, you can get why. You want me to cut him? At least Rachel is trying to be a very good stepmom. Like she's really, she's really trying over here. But um, she's maybe pampering him a little bit too much. And Doug over here is realizing that, yeah, I'm not gonna baby my son like that. So things about to change around here. Doug gets away with murder with Rachel. I'm just coming home and I'm trying to give him a break of a transitional period. I'm letting him be in a kid. But Dougie's gonna have to know that I'm I'm the rule maker here. Hey, you're the real rule maker where? In her house? Uh uh, I don't think it's gonna work. You that filthy way. womanizer. I'm scared. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm scared. <laughs> Dougie is actually scary. Wait a second. 
whatever. Yeah, Dougie's a little bit scary, okay? He is, he's not gonna make it easy. Nah, but Rachel was able to deal with him, so Dougie just better follow suit. Just follow what she was doing. Don't baby him too much. I totally agree with that because all this cut this for me and stuff. You're 12. You, you can do that. Oh, here, here. We're back in color. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lipstick is actually pink. Hot pink. Anyway, um, yeah. This 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 is about to be real interesting. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bum stump as on to that subscribe button comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell. I should it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily-ish videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.